hello everyone. Welcome to EHEF Indonesia 2020 Goes Online. My name is Haris and I'm going to be moderating this webinar. This webinar is going to be presented by uh, Timothy and Jessa from Sekxiong University of Applied Sciences. Please stay tuned until the end of this webinar because we will have question and answer session. If you have any question related to the presentations or anything to the country higher education, you can submit it in YouTube comment section anytime throughout the presentations. And now, without any further ado, please welcome representative from the section Sekxiong University of Applied Sciences. Time is yours. I am sorry. I had a delay in the in the sound, so I heard everything twice. Um, I'm going to share my screen now. Yes, please. Okay, still keep on hearing the everything everybody says twice, but with a quite a big delay. So I'm gonna um, try if I can fix this. Um, first of all. Can I'd you like make full screen, uh, Miss Sasha. I'm sorry. Yeah, can you make it full screen of your presentation? So everyone, uh, the webinar participant can see it. Try if I can fix this. Um, first of all, can I'd like. I'm sorry. I think something's going wrong. Okay. okay. Now, uh, it's, it's maybe well. You can just uh, focus on the Zoom meeting because if you also open the YouTube, there will be delay because you open it. Yes, I, I just, I think I've just closed it. Let ah, me go. Right. Thank you. Yeah, it's closed. Sorry about that. Okay, let me uh, first uh, introduce uh, Timothy. Um, Timothy, welcome. Thank you for joining me on this uh, presentation. Is uh, a third year international human resource management student uh, from Indonesia and Germany. Um, maybe you can uh, introduce yourself a little bit. Uh, sure. And uh, so I can interact with the audience more. I can introduce myself in Indonesian as well. Yes, please. So, hello, semua. Kenalan, nama saya Timothy E. Borg. Saya sekarang umurnya 20 tahun dan saya seperti Ibu Jasya berkata, saya sekarang di tahun ketiga saya di Saksion dalam kursus International Human Resource Management. Dan saya pertama mau minta maaf dulu jika bahasa Indonesia saya agak kacau gara-gara pas tinggal di sini tiga tahun, saya udah lama banget gak ngomong bahasa Indonesia, paling cuma seminggu sekali ngomong sama Ibu, jadi saya minta maaf dulu. Thank you. Uh, and my name is Yasha uh, and I work for the international office. Uh, and we're both here to uh, inform you about Saxon University of Applied Sciences. Uh, as you can see in the presentation, um, when you go to Saxon, you're going to be the hero of your future. You're going to study at Saxon and have a great time. Um, I'll show you a short video first uh, about our university, so you have a little bit of an idea about uh, Saxon. Thank you. 
Sports. Thank you for watching this. What is a nice um, thing to mention about this uh, uh, video is that it's made by Saxion students, students who studied the Creative Media and Game Technologies program. Um, so if you're going to study abroad, you need to leave your comfort zone. Right now, you're in Indonesia with your family and friends, and everything is hopefully all good. Uh, going the way you're expecting it to go. Um, but if you go to Saxon, this is where the magic happens. Uh, of course, it's a big decision, uh, but maybe, uh, Timothy, you can explain a little bit about what happened when you left your comfort zone and went to Saxon. Uh, all right, thank you, I will. Jadi, saya kan dari, uh, dari umur 7 ke umur 18, saya kan tinggal di Indonesia. Terus kan udah selama waktu itu saya di Indonesia, uh, terus saya pindah ke Belanda, ke negara yang sangat baru, beda banget sama Indonesia. Dan ada beberapa uh, hal yang sangat berbeda dengan kultur dari Indonesia. Misalnya orang orang Belanda lebih tegas daripada orang Indonesia. Jadi itu sangat berbeda daripada yang saya pengalami di uh, di Indonesia. Terus salah satu juga yang uh, Ibu Jasa berkata tentang keluar dari zone, itu salah satu contohnya pas saya di tahun pertama saya, saya ada kursus namanya Financial Management di mana saya harus belajar matematika dengan program Excel. Nah, saya dari SD udah benci banget sama matematika, sama Excel itu juga uh, buat saya sangat bingung. Tapi untuk lulus, ya, saya harus uh, menggunakan dua hal itu. Saya harus keluar dari comfort zone saya. Saya ingat saya uh, sama teman saya yang udah selesai mengajarkan saya sampai jam 3 pagi. Setiap langkah saya tanyain, kenapa ini begini, kenapa itu begitu. Emang agak drastis, tapi gara-gara itu saya keluar dari comfort zone saya, Dan ketika saya mulai tahun kedua saya, saya ada financial management dua. Dan itu saya lebih berhasil gara-gara saya keluar dari comfort zone saya di tahun pertama. Thank you. So, uh, I'd like to tell you some facts about Saxon University. We've been established in 1875. And you will be assured of high quality education. And this is uh, uh, monitored by the Dutch Ministry of Education. We have three campuses. I'll show you uh, uh, a map later so you know where we are located. And 13 schools in total. And I'll get back to you about what kind of programs we offer. 26 and a half thousand students. And 3,000 of those are international students from all over the world. So we have about 80 nationalities studying at Saxon University. And we have partner universities all over the world. So uh, I'll get uh, back to that later because there's lots of opportunities to go and study at, uh, at our partner universities. But to give you a bit of an idea, all over Europe, but also United States, uh, China, Vietnam, and of course, Indonesia, like Gachamada University, Petra University, Venus University, uh, ETS in, uh, also in Surabaya, um, Diponegoro and uh, UII and Telkom University are examples of partner universities in Indonesia, just to give you a bit of an idea. So this is the Netherlands. And as you can see, we have three locations in the east of the Netherlands. The one on the uh, most, the most eastern um, campus is about a 10 minute bike ride into Germany. Um, there's good public transport, so when you're in the Netherlands, you're also able to discover uh, Amsterdam, Groningen, and other cities uh, while you're here, if COVID uh, cooperates, of course. And you don't have to worry about talking Dutch language. Uh, almost everybody in the Netherlands speaks Dutch. Um, if you have no idea where to go, just find a random person, ask directions in English, and they will be able to help you. Um, 
Maybe, Timothy, you can explain a little bit if you experienced any of this when you arrived in the Netherlands. Oh, sure. Jadi, uh, seperti Ibu Yasa berkata, semua orang di Belanda itu ngomong Inggrisnya bagus banget. Misalnya, contohnya, kalian mau, per, uh, mau beli karcis uh, naik bis, kan? Atau beli karcis buat naik kereta. Kalian pergi ke tempat orang yang menjual tiketnya. K- uh, kalian uh, tanya apakah mereka bisa tanya Inggris, cuma buat uh, sopan dikit. Mereka pasti selalu, yak- uh, saya yakin selalu berkata mereka selalu bisa bahasa Inggris. Dan ini di mana-mana, misalnya kalian harus ke uh, gedung pemerintah lokal untuk memperbarui perumahan, Kal- mereka bisa ngomong English full, bagus banget. Jadi uh, kalau mau pindah, mau belajar di Belanda, kalian tidak harus uh, tahu bahasa Belanda apapun. Gara-gara saya sekarang udah tiga uh, tahun di sini, uh, bisa ngomong Belanda sedikit, tapi nggak lancar, dan saya masih bisa hidup uh, yang sederhana dan enak. Thank you. So why should you study at Saxion? Well, at Saxion, we have a very international environment. Uh, like I told you, we have over 80 nationalities and uh, our way of teaching um, is very uh, uh, personal, interactive. There's an individual approach for students. Um, we try to keep the classes small, so not more than 25 students. So there's a lot of contact between the lecturers and the students. And within your program, you can choose your own career path. So there's uh, electives, there's a minor you can choose in in usually the third or the the fifth semester. So you can go abroad. Um, Sometimes you can uh, specialize uh, more in depth or choose like a a more broad semester. Um, Well, maybe Timothy, you can explain a little bit from your uh, program um, what, uh, yeah. Some, some some practical examples. Oh, sure. I, uh, I would like to mostly touch on the thing you said about personal contact and in, individual approach. Uh, pas kalian mulai belajar di Saxion, dari dua tahun pertama, uh, setiap, kalau nggak salah, setiap uh, enam minggu, kalian akan, sama coach kalian atau guru kalian, kalian akan melakukan individual counseling, di mana guru-guru akan menanyakan kondisi Anda di Saxion. Apa, gimana pelajaran Anda? Apakah Anda bisa mengerti pelajarannya? Tapi juga kondisi Anda uh, mental dan fisik, dan juga kondisi Anda di luar. Jadi kondisi Anda dengan perumahan, ada masalah dengan keluarga atau enggak. Dan mereka benar-benar peduli dengan, tentang kondisi kalian. Jika kalian ada masalah, kalian bisa berbicara dengan mereka. Mereka akan mendengar dan benar-benar uh, membantu Anda. Dan jika mereka tidak bisa membantu, mereka akan menggunakan sumber daya besar dari Saxon untuk membantu Anda. Jadi uh, ini benar, personal contact dan individual approach-nya itu benar-benar nyata. Gara-gara Saxion benar-benar peduli kepada murid-murid dalam level yang individual. Okay. So, the study principle at Saxion, uh, as opposed to traditional learning, where you go to school, you go to the university, you go to the lecture, you just listen, take your notes, and then take your uh, test. At Saxion, it's problem-based learning. Uh, there's uh, group work, there's teamwork, there is a, a practical example from a company that you need to work on with your group. Um, and like, for example, do a market research and then apply it at the company instead of just learning the theory about it. Um, the idea is that besides the Uh, practical aspect of it and getting the work experience within studying at Saxion, you also learn uh, to work with your team members. So, for example, one of your uh, team members not doing his job properly, uh, shows up late, uh, doesn't uh, re- reach the deadlines. Um, so you need to deal with that. You need to talk to each other and get him back on track. Or in some cases, you might even need to kick someone out of the group, like you're not doing anything. It's his problem or her problem um, um, to take care of this. But you also learn, like negotiate uh, and, and, and talk to, to, your, uh, to your group, like to manage the group. So there's always like a leader in your group uh, that is assigned by one of you. Um, so with all these Ex, ex, well, practical examples that has to do with your program, you also learn about the general management aspect of your program. Um, maybe, uh, Timothy, you can give a little example uh, of a practical assignment in your program? Oh, for sure. 
Uh, jadi uh, uh, ketika kalian selesai tahun pertama, mulai tahun kedua, hampir semua pelajaran uh, setidaknya buat saya kursus yang saya menghadapi uh, kalau dapat tugas itu tugasnya akan selalu dari perusahaan yang asli mau perusahaan itunya dari uh, Saxion atau perusahaan dari luar. Salah satu contohnya ketika saya mulai uh, tahun kedua saya, saya salah satu, dalam salah satu tugas saya bekerja dengan takeaway.com. Itu kurang lebih kayak kayak GoFood lah, kayak GoFood. Terus kita benar-benar ada problem dari perusahaan mereka waktu itu masalah tentang mereka nggak punya employee, nggak punya banyak employee. Nah kita benar-benar harus mengetahui gimana cara kita bisa membantu mereka dengan hal yang kita belajar dalam kursus kita. Dan ini juga baik gara-gara ketika kita lulus dari Saxion dan kita udah masuk ke industri kita yang asli, kita punya pengalaman uh, praktikal yang kita belajar dari waktu kita di Saxion. Um, what I would also like to say about this is that, for example, um, the Smart Solutions semester is also one of those uh, um, programs that you can choose at Saxion. And in this uh, semester, you will work on a problem for a company together with students also from other programs. So, for example, like a health a school, a student from the School of Health would be working together with a student from the School of Life Science, Engineering and Design and the school, uh, the International Business School, together on a project to develop, uh, uh, to work on, on, on a problem for a, for a company. And so you can um, yeah, approach the problem or your case from different perspectives. So it's very multidisciplinary approach. Um, let me think about the next slide is um, to make sure, oh, sorry, uh, that you are able uh, to, to fulfill your tasks. Uh, we, we ensure you that, that there's uh, good facilities available at Saxon University. So um, there's Wi-Fi within the university, obviously, uh, but there's also project rooms. There's uh, beamers that you can use. Uh, so you can work with your group on this uh, uh, assignment together. Um, also, the lecturers that teach you uh, have experience in the, in the field where they're teaching about. They're not just teachers uh, giving you all the theory, but they will also be able to give you examples uh, from what's happening uh, at companies in, in the economy right now. Um, maybe, would you like to add something about our facilities for students? Uh, Uh, yeah, sure. I have a quick example. Jadi uh, seperti ka- kalian bisa lihat di background, background saya, ini adalah zona zona belajar yang kita namakan Amazon di kursus saya. Dan uh, saya benar-benar mencintai uh, uh, kursus belajar ini, zona belajar ini, bukan hanya karena uh, saya suka dengan kursus saya, tapi selama dua tahun saya di sini, saya punya banyak uh, pengalaman dan memori-memori dengan teman-teman saya nongkrong di sini, nongkrong sama guru, ngerjain tugas bareng sampai jam. Tiga pa- eh, jam sampai jam tiga pagi, sorry. Jadi sampai jam 8 malam. Jadi fasilitas ini bukan hanya untuk cuma digunakan, tapi kalian juga akan mengalamankan dan juga membuat memori yang banyak sekali ketika dalam waktu kalian di Saxion. Oke, okay, thank you. Well, here's a message from uh, the president of the executive board. So, we want to prepare our students for the future. So, um, For example, if you want to study marketing, you also need to keep up with what's what's going on right now. Ten years ago, nobody would have expected that Facebook can be used for uh, a marketing campaign. Uh, so things are changing so fast that with that, whatever program you're doing, uh, even if you don't study one of those um, engineering or technology programs, you still need to keep up what's going on. Uh, okay, an example of uh, students from an uh, international business program, they had to uh, prepare a project for a company where they decided to build bridges with the use of 3D printers. So they're not uh, responsible to make sure that the, the, the bridges could be printed, but also uh, but they are uh, responsible for writing a marketing plan for this, like a market research plan. Um, so we want to make sure that you're ready for the future jobs. So 
Um, after graduation, when you go to a, a University of Applied Sciences, you have very uh, good opportunities uh, to start your career. During the four years you study a bachelor program at our university, you get a lot of practical assignments and you get to work at a company during your uh, internship and your thesis, your graduation assignment will also be done for a company. So you will already have a lot of experience uh, before you graduate. So companies are very interested to hire you because you will also have the practical skills, uh, which is different uh, from a research university where you mostly get the theoretical part. Our bachelor degrees and master degrees are internationally recognized. So either start your career or continue after a bachelor with a master program elsewhere because uh, yeah, with our high quality degrees, you have a good kickstart. I'm quickly going to go through the programs that we offer at Suction. Those are the four-year bachelor programs. Uh, if you go to our website, uh, suction.edu slash programs, you will be able to find them and find all the details about those programs as well. And those are uh, the master programs that we offer. Those are one to two year programs. Uh, when you want to go to our master program, you need to have your bachelor degree. Uh, and some programs like the, the, the MBA and the mastery management, you will need to have work experience as well. When you go to Saxon University, you need to uh, have a certain level of English. So it's a, uh, IELTS 6.0 uh, or equivalent, like TOEFL 80, uh, or, but you can also do like a Cambridge test. If you have a lower level of English, if you have a level of 5.0 or 5.5, you can start at our university in a preparatory English program. So for uh, um, one year or for one semester, depending on your level. And there's also a short course that we offer, which is usually for uh, students who already have a bachelor degree, they're already working um, and they uh, want to take this short course, which is one semester to um, get more in-depth knowledge about a certain topic. So besides this, I'd like to talk a little bit about student accommodation. So when you go to uh, Suction, you of course need a place to live. Suction will organize this for um, international students from outside of the European Union. And uh, the first picture on the left-hand side is the student accommodation in Deventer. Uh, it's a place with about 50 apartments. Uh, in each apartment, there are four bedrooms. Um, you share the bathroom in the kitchen. Um, after the first year, you will move out and you will find your own place. Um, and maybe, Timothy, you can explain a little bit about uh, how, the, how the hunt for an apartment uh, went for you. Sure, I can. I'll I can uh, share my experience real quick because I see that we have eight minutes left for the presentation. But but uh, saya walaupun saya warga negara uh, bapa saya waktu saya di Indonesia, saya uh, saksikan kamu bantu saya untuk dapat untuk cari perumahan. Gara-gara kan saya warga negara uh, Eropa kan. Jadi saya beruntung saya tahun pertama uh, salah satu teman ibu saya uh, ada ru ruang yang saya bisa sewa. Tapi benar uh, ketika kalian mulai tahun kedua. Kalian harus uh, mencari kamar sendiri. Dan emang itu, itu agak, agak serem sama agak susah. Tapi uh, saya, gara-gara saya juga mau pindah pas tahun kedua saya, dan teman saya, teman dekat saya juga mau pindah keluar saya, baik kita menggunakan website-website yang dikasih dari Saksion. Salah satunya misalnya roomspot.nl atau kamarnet.nl. Ini adalah website yang digunakan oleh mahasiswa-mahasiswa untuk mencari uh, perumahan. Ini salah satu top website yang menurut saya top untuk cari perumahan. Gara-gara orang-orang yang membuat website ini waktu itu juga mahasiswa sendiri. Jadi uh, prosesnya kadang-kadang agak susah. Misalnya contohnya saya nge-apply ke uh, enam perumahan, terus baru dari uh, percobaan ke enam, saya baru dapat perumahan. Tapi prosesnya agak uh, cepat. Saya dapat perumahan dalam waktu uh, tiga minggu. Jadi walaupun prosesnya agak serem, emang itu... Itu saya akui, tapi prosesnya juga agak, agak gampang juga. 
Okay, thank you. Um, good to know is that uh, we try to mix nationalities. Uh, we keep uh, boys and girls separate. In the same building, there will be uh, uh, both female uh, students and, and masculine, but um, we try to keep them separate in, uh, in each apartment. So you will share it with only girls or only boys. Um, nice to know is when you know people from, uh, well, in your apartment from different countries, you can share the different food cook together and, and enjoy that. We make sure there's Wi-Fi available for you. Um, and there's uh, one of the suction caretakers who you, you, can, you can be in touch with 24-7 uh, in case of any problems with the accommodation. Um, now there's going to be a, a, a corona aspect in this presentation. Uh, at the moment, uh, the majority of the programs is taught online. There's uh, the, the practical programs at Saxon, like uh, the engineering programs that have to go to the laboratory, do some research. Uh, they get priority on, um, on site um, uh, lectures and, and, uh, and um, courses. Um, Maybe, uh, Timothy, you can explain a little bit how this goes in practice. What can you expect? I mean, if you, you, you're going to come to the Netherlands to study in the Netherlands after all, um, but unfortunately, the, 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 the virus uh, doesn't make it easy for us now. That is, uh, that is true. Yeah, benar, uh, seperti di hampir semua negara, pasti kalian akan melakukan online, online studying, uh, online environment. Tapi, uh, contohnya, uh, saya kan, kan tahun ketiga, di tahun pertama, salah satu teman saya yang di kursus yang sama, ya walaupun uh, kita 80% itu online, tapi 20%-nya mereka ia masih harus pergi ke build, uh, ke stasiun. Gara-gara kursusnya itu memang harus dilakukan uh, in person. Jadi walaupun walaupun kalian harus melakukan studi ini online, masih ada harapan tergantung juga uh, kursus yang Anda pilihkan bahwa itu bisa dilakukan di stasiun. Contohnya salah satu teman saya juga itu lagi belajar fisioterapi uh, dan itu full nggak ada online itu full harus pergi ke gedung saksion. Jadi tergantung kursusnya hampir enggak semua itu full online. Okay, so uh, hopefully the vaccine will come soon and we'll be able yes. to teach more and more on site. Um, But for now, uh, I hope uh, Timothy could uh, give you a bit of a picture of what is uh, going on right now. Um, then the next, not, not so nice, but very important. What about the money? Uh, if you go to Saxon University, uh, I, I'd like to tell you that we have scholarships available. Uh, students from the party universities, they will get a discount on the tuition fee. Uh, because they are from 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 a partners, uh, students who start uh, at uh, a bachelor program, they can apply for the Saxon Talent Scholarship. Um, students who apply for a bachelor program or for the Master of Innovative Textile Development or Nanotechnology are able to apply for the uh, Holland Scholarship and the Orange Tulip Scholarship. If you um, start a four-year bachelor. You can apply in your second, third, and fourth year for the Saxon Excellence Scholarship if you fulfill the requirements. I have to tell you, those scholarships are available for students with a non-EU passport only. So if you uh, have a, a, a dual citizenship, also a Dutch citizenship or a European, uh, you cannot apply for a scholarship, but then you'll pay the European tui tuition fee, which is uh, lower than the... Um, international tuition fee. So um, the tuition fee can be reduced with the scholarship, uh, hopefully, uh, but I'm giving you the total price in case you won't get a scholarship. Housing uh, is about 5,000 euros. You pay a deposit, which you will get back after uh, leaving the apartment and everything is still fine, nothing is broken or... Uh, um, Yeah, something wrong. Um, it, it, visa and immigration fees is 175 euros, and then you have the, the health insurance and liability insurance. So a total package fee uh, of a little bit less than 15,000 euros. 
Besides that, take into account the living expenses for food and transportation uh, and, and any other cost uh, that might apply to you. Uh, unfortunately, there's no e-boost available in the Netherlands. So you'll have to make sure that you clean the apartment yourself. And um, the books, you can we estimate them about 500 euros a year. Uh, but it also depends on how much new books you will spend. Maybe some of the students share it digitally or copy. Um, but that's uh, maybe, Timothy, you can explain a little bit uh, or from your own experience um, about the extra cost besides studying. Um, okay, I, I can, I can, I think, share my experience real quick. Uh, saya itu, kalau masalah duit itu, saya selalu ingin, saya nggak terlalu... Uh, you mind if I uh, say this part in English? I, I'm not no quite problem. sure to say it in Indonesian. But yeah, in terms of external costs, I'm quite uh, frugal with my money. So I, I spend it maybe once going outside when I'm eating with my girlfriend. We buy a lot of groceries and we make a big meal. Because with Corona, you can't really you can't really go to bars or like go outside that much. So you're not really spending a lot of money outside. And you don't really have to. Uh, you don't really have to uh, go to clubs or go to bars every week. So you can live uh, frugally and you can still have fun if you do want to do fun stuff with your friends. Let's say you want to play pool every now and then if it's open or you want to go to the cinema. Those things are all very affordable. And yeah, you can live frugally and still be very happy in terms of money in the Netherlands. Cause... Yeah, and like um, if you, uh, while you're in the Netherlands, Normally, in a, in, a, in a normal situation, you'd be able to travel all over Europe and discover the big cities. There's cheap flights, there's uh, cheap bus tickets. But of course, at the moment, it's not possible. Uh, right now, uh, in the Netherlands, we're not supposed to travel abroad. And in other countries in Europe, it's the same. Uh, so hopefully, the situation will improve soon. Uh, and you will be able to travel in the Schengen area. Uh, because while you're studying at Suction, your visa does allow you to travel within the Schengen area. Um, so in total, um, it's about 19,000 euros that you will need for one year. Uh, and this is an example of a bachelor program, taking into account um, tuition fee, accommodation, books, and other uh, expenses. So yeah, we have the digital discovery days. Um, Timothy, did you join them or did you assist in any of those dis digital discovery days? Uh, yes, I did. So maybe you can tell um, the audience about it a little bit because uh, we will have a new uh, one on the 2nd of December. So if you're interested to learn more about Saxon, this will be a good opportunity. Uh, the the moderator says our time is up, but I'll I'll just summarize it in like uh, in uh, a few words. Kalau kalian pengen belajar lebih untuk salah satu kursus yang lebih spesifik, kalian bisa mengikuti digital digital discovery day. Gara-gara kalian bisa menanya pertanyaan anda kepada guru dan murid dalam kursus itu. Jadi kalian bisa menanyakan pertanyaan kalian yang lebih spesifik kepada guru dan murid dalam kursus itu. Okay. Um... I think those are the most important things that we wanted to share with you about Sakti University. Is there anything you want to add, uh, Timothy? Uh, not for me, no, thank you. No? Um, well, I just put on the last slide where you can um, see where you can uh, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, etc. Uh, feel free also to ask questions uh, through the uh, email address of the international office. Hey, thank you very much, uh, Sasha and Timothy, for uh, the presentation and also for the explanation regarding uh, Section University, Section University. There are several questions from the uh, webinar participants that we would like to ask. Uh, the first one is uh, regarding to housing. Is it compulsory to live in the rooms prepared by the university? 
If yes, how much is it in the first year? Or can we just directly look for uh, our own housing by our own? Yes, your students can also uh, take, care of the, take care of the accommodation themselves. Uh, what is important is we need to apply for your visa because you are uh, not from uh, the EU. You need to make sure you have arranged your accommodation before we apply for the visa. So you will need to show uh, either uh, a contract uh, or if you have relatives in the area uh, of Apeldoorn, Deventer, Enschede, where you can live, then we need a confirmation from from your family that you will live with them. And then you don't have to take the suction student accommodation. All right, very well uh, noted. Second question uh, for Timothy. Do you have any experience or maybe your friends, if you do not have, about working uh, part-time okay. as a student in, uh, in the Netherlands? Yeah. Uh, jadi, uh, saya punya, uh, should I answer this in English or Indonesian, or uh, is it up to me? You, if you feel comfortable uh, answering in English, then in English, but if you oh, okay. feel in Bahasa, then as Indonesian. Oh, okay, jadi uh, saya punya beberapa, beberapa teman yang benar-benar uh, pekerja part-time, dan misalnya contohnya salah satu teman saya kerja di restoran Cina, cuci piring, salah satu teman saya kerja di Domino's Pizza, mengantar makanan, dan saya nggak begitu tahu uh, kalian kalau misalnya mau apply kari, kalian harus tanya saksion untuk dapat work permit kalau salah itu kalian juga harus pergi ke gedung pemerintah, pemerintah, pemerintah lokal untuk uh, dapat work permit ini gara-gara kalian nggak nggak tentu nggak mau bekerja tanpa work permit itu karena itu ilegal dan uh, misalnya contohnya buat saya kalian juga bisa uh, setiap tahun kalian ada opportunity untuk kerja untuk saksion seperti uh, saya saya pas mulai tahun kedua saya ngeplay untuk jadi uh, student ambassador buat saksion. Jadi kurang lebih kalian kerja untuk saksion untuk membantu saksion. Misalnya dalam hal-hal seperti ini presentasi untuk ngomong uh, ngomong untuk saksion atau juga kalian bekerja dengan saksion dalam bidang-bidang lain. Jadi kalian bisa bekerja part time dari perusahaan dari luar dan juga saksion juga memberi oportunitas untuk bekerja dengan mereka. Oke, okay. okay. terima kasih Timothy. Next to Jasef. Uh, So it is possible for uh, students to work part time during their uh, time in section. Yeah, they are allowed to work uh, for the non-EU students. A maximum of 16 hours a week is allowed. Um, I'm not. I don't know what Timothy just said, but um, <laughs> you don't need to speak Dutch, but. It's easier to find a job if you do speak Dutch. So it's not guaranteed that you will find a job. And I think most of the jobs will be in a restaurant doing dishes, or if you speak a little bit of Dutch, you will be able to serve in, in, in uh, those typical uh, student restaurants. Um, but um, it's also not very highly paid. So don't count on earning your living Uh, while studying at Saxon. It's better to focus on your program, make sure you graduate on time, then get your job uh, and get a proper salary. I, do, he, I did hear about some students uh, who found uh, a job in Amsterdam. So um, although we are in the east of the Netherlands, they would travel every week to Amsterdam because there's more jobs over there. Uh, travel up and, and down there to, to do this no part-time job um, and yeah that could also be an option but it's up to the student yeah but at least at the end of the day do not forget your main duty as student so exactly not only exactly. looking for part-time job but please focus on your main job as student exactly okay okay we also have we will also have virtual fair on friday and saturday so if any webinar participants would like to have further questions or specific questions uh, regarding uh, Sakyong university um, you can simply uh, log in to event.ehf.id on friday and saturday start from six Uh, sorry, start from 4 p.m. Indonesian time. So you can also meet a section representative there and ask more questions regarding 
the university, regarding the intake, regarding housing, regarding scholarship maybe. So please do not forget to join us on Friday and Saturday. To Sasha and Timothy, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for your explanations. Uh, I believe it has helped uh, the webinar participants to understand more about your university. And I do believe that they will come and also ask more questions or inquiries um, on Friday and Saturday. So thank you very much. And thank we do well. hope that the pandemic will be over soon so we can have our life back to normal again. So <laughs> yeah. thank you very much. Uh, please do take care yourself in uh, your country you and well. hope to see you again on Friday and Saturday. Definitely. Thank well, thank you. Thank, thank you. you for the opportunity. Yeah, and everyone, feel free to contact us. The contact details are on the on the screen still. And of course, yes. please uh, join us at the virtual fair tomorrow and Saturday. Yes, please do uh, contact. Uh, you can still see it on the screen. And uh, further information you can also find out on Friday and Saturday. So thank you very much, Sasha and Timothy. Bye-bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Have a nice day and stay safe, everyone. Yeah, have a nice day too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <Ta -da. laughs>